Sorry, Genki. I'm back now. And I'm all ears. Club fair, remember? You on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. Coordinates are showing a stash near the top of the Braxton building. How does he come up with this stuff? Send me after your crap and forget to nudge a laser. Here we are.
City seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Hey, Unc. Why'd you stash tech in the skyscraper? Ever heard of the Braxton Heist? Uh, no. Exactly. It was my debut score as the problem. First time working with a crew, too. We went in to steal prototypes from Braxton's secret tech division. But this kid double-crossed us. Who? Never got a name. But she was good. Broke. Thief in the truest sense of the word. Wasn't mad, though. It was a valuable lesson. Starting to get why you were Dad's toughest case. <laughs> good looking out. From the stash, kid. Wonder who got the best of Uncle Aaron. Not many people can do that. Without a permit before someone calls the cops on him. I should have known it'd be cultists. You'd be wise to reconsider our offer. The followers of the flame only want to protect you. Please, just leave us alone. We don't want to join you. these people. Fireworks look shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them, so we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Spider-Man? Wow. At least... I can still wiggle my toes.
there. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Almost blew up Spider-Man. Hey, just dropped my coffee. Thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. that barrel we can't make any money if our stock blows up you want to do this get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic I wanted to warn you about some shady characters selling bad food. Yo, wait a second! Yeah! <laughs> 
fireworks. They're lit. Uh, to river. I can chuck them. Wait. They lit two more? Okay. Last crate. Nice. Wow. Really nice. Happy birthday, Lex. Is that you? Oh, man. I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. job hiding their stolen tank. Back around here somewhere. All right. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. New reproductive technologies are on the horizon. Check it out on this brochure. We've got preventative contraception information. Please consult your parents and your primary care physician. They'll help you find what's right for you. Yes, those are free. Remember to stay safe. Glad we have people on campus who know about these things. Miles, glad you made it. Oh, hey, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. 
Presentation's on the main stage. Oh, yeah. I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Miles, over here. Morales, the music master. What's up, Delisai? You here to see that university rep, Mr. Atlas? Yeah, definitely. Nice astronomy booth. Thanks. You should stop by later. I made a 3D model of Saturn. But get this. <laughs> it's cake! I'll save you a slice. Hmm, thanks. Hey, you made it. I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. We left to get something from her car and then poof, never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. Gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I can find out more. Notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man. Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Send you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. She's gotta be around here somewhere. Better do this quietly. <laughs> Dio, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not... Really? I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is, uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production. But it's been hard to find time lately. 
Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy. Someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... Tracker signal leads. There she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. We'll have to do this the hard way. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. You hide. I've got these guys. yourself it's in my job description ready to go are you going to carry me sure i've carried people before as long as i can get verbal confirmation that if i throw up on you you won't sue me Ugh. consider this confirmation just try to tell a brother first Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. You are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the Quan. We've got a robotics demonstration to do.
not much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. I can't do this alone. Why couldn't I just take him out to dinner or something? Seems like you might need some spider help. Yeah. I had everything planned out. The clues, the screens, the art, the people, everything has to be perfect. Whoa, 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 okay, I got you. Can you explain a little slower? What happened? <sighs> okay, I wanna ask someone to homecoming, but he's special. I couldn't just do flowers or chocolate. I got some screens and I wanna light them up with the message, but the generator's busted. Guy who rented it out to me won't answer. What a scam. I think I can help. Thanks. I rented the generator from Reynolds and Company Rentals. I'll send you the address. On it. Generators are going for a lot these days. This baby's ours. You understand? That's no ordinary rental transaction. I'd hate to be you. Ain't nobody stepping to me. Mess around, find out. takes care of these guys. I should check on the salesperson. Thanks, Spider-Man. Glad to help. Your client asked me to look into a delivery delay. I guess we got our answer. Yeah, about that. I'd love to deliver this thing, but those idiots already did so much damage. If she's salvageable, it'll take weeks of repairs. Mind delivering the bad news for me? Can do. Better call Vijay and give him the bad news. Tell me some good news. Well, it's news. 
Generator's busted. Wait. Okay, I'm not out of ideas yet. Just come back. I've got something else in mind. Since the generator's no good, does BB have any backup ones? I know they keep generators on the roof, but they're all overpowered for my setup. We'd blow a fuse. Unless we find something underpowered. I should be able to pick up that low voltage frequency. And your electrical powers would fill in the rest. Theoretically. Worth a shot. Or a shock. I've got a friend who would love that joke. a generator but it's deactivated see that should work great mind giving it your special spark <laughs> got the voltage we need now we just gotta route it to the ground floor yes i knew you'd figure it out maybe i could connect these power nodes seems to be traveling through an old circuit. Yeah, maybe I should go into electrical engineering. Thank you, a million. Oh, maybe you should call yourself the Great Electric Spider. Thanks. I like Spider-Man just fine. Oh! Just got a text. He's on his way. Uh, don't go just yet. I could still use your help. Just hide. DJ's texting me. What? A whiteboard. Hmm. <laughs> oh, VJ, what are you up to? Oh. Wait a sec. That's the equation he helped me with on our first date. Study session. Hmm. Study date? Spider-Man, that's the first clue. Mind flipping it? <laughs> <gasps> okay, looks like I'm going this way. <laughs> okay, what is this? Aw, oh, that's the movie we saw when we had our first kiss. Ugh, braces, lip balm and all. <sighs> but still, best kiss ever. Spider-Man! Poster is stuck. Can you give it a tug? Oh! <laughs> Vijay must be in the quad. Time for the big reveal. Find a seat and grab some popcorn. Vijay? This whole thing has you written all over it. I've always known you're a special guy. And I'm lucky you're my special guy. I love you, Lucas. Will you... Will you... Uh... Home? Ah, uh, not exactly. Oh no. Gotta be something I can do to help here. Need to use my chain lightning. Homecoming? 
Oh, VJ, of course. Matching sequin blazers? Hell yeah. Phew, that was close. Thank you for making this possible. Holy crap. You really got Spider-Man in on this? Best day ever. Anything for love, guys. Happy for you both. Enjoy homecoming. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here.
You're kind of getting sand everywhere. You guys should really leave and go somewhere more tropical. up later. Probably check out that crystal now. It's my turn to follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco must have felt so alone during all this. His back against the wall? I can relate. wondering what this place was. That's Emily's tree. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking.
Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? So please, Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you? Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission to heal the world. Wow. Dad's money may have gotten the ball rolling. My job is to put it to work, making the world a better place. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees, or to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Gene, I just checked in on Dan and Anne. Here, follow me. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool! These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. A.K.A. bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! productive session. We got great data. Okay, why no? Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. 
You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. <laughs> 